About a month ago, we made a video on some of the most meta strikers in FM24, focusing on those overpowered players that are going to score goal after goal in your FM saves. And you guys really responded well to that video. It seems like we found you a lot of gems for your saves that you didn't know about. So today we're going to follow that up with another 10 meta strikers for you to sign in your save. We're avoiding the obvious names, your Haaland's, your Messi's, your Mbappe's, and we're going to be looking at those players you might not have thought about signing. Some are 20, 30 million some are going to cost you one or two million so there really will be a player for everyone. Before we start though, what do we mean by a meta striker? Well, in Football Manager, particularly the last few years of the game, physical attributes have been so dominant in the match engine that if you have a striker that's either really quick or really tall or really strong, you will get lots of goals out of them. And God forbid you find someone that can have the holy trinity of all three. It seems to me that those physical attributes really trump any kind of technical or mental attributes. So today we'll be looking at those players that have great physical attributes. In the last episode of this, we kind of only focused Focused on those big strong men but today we're also going to be looking at those pace merchants that are going to get in behind and score you goals. Like I say there's players of all ability levels and price points in this video but we're starting with a player that you can pick up for around three or four million. This is a German 20 year old by the name of Maximilian Bayer here and he plays as a regular starter apparently for Hoffenheim out in the Bundesliga. Now he's got a few things going for him. One he is very versatile. Two he can work really hard but three the thing that's going to make him powerful in game and gets people a lot of goals when they use him are those physical attributes the man has 16 acceleration and 17 pace combined with good natural fitness and agility any defenders out there are going to have a nightmare playing against him he can finish and dribble at a decent level as well I'm not saying he's amazing at that but with those physical attributes I really do think it will outweigh the fact that he's only got 12 finishing and not say 14 or 15 he can also hit a long throw should you want him to do that he's got some flair as well and it's six foot one whilst the isn't amazing in the air he's not terrible either with 11 jumping reach and 12 heading a real all-around forward that for a few million quid could definitely do the job for you in your save now that player was only 20 and still had a few years left of growth but this player is about to head into his prime this is Luis Suarez not the one that used to play for Barca and Liverpool but in fact this is a Colombian forward who plays for Almeria out in the Spanish divisions he's in that top league of Spain and he is one of the best strikers in that division that you can sign in the game this year. For about 10 million, you are getting a man who has great physical attributes. Is he quick? Is he strong? Is he good in the air? No, he's a mixture of all three. Pace is the one that he seems to have the most of at 16, but he has got 13 strength. He's six foot one with 12 jumping reach. He's got the acceleration as well, the heading ability, the finishing at 13 as well. He's a brave player as well. And something that a lot of you guys might love if you like using a pressing forward is he has a great work rate at 18. Now for 10 million, you are getting a striker here who outside of maybe, you know, the big Champions League challenging teams would start for most clubs. He is a very, very big talent. He's someone that's been good in the last few years of Football Manager. I remember when he was at Granada a couple of years ago and he kept scoring against me in all of my saves. He's definitely one that's worth scouting. With all of these players, you might not be able to get them straight away. He is only just signed for Almeria permanently, so he won't be someone that you can go out and get straight away in the first window, but maybe in January or the start of season two, if you scout these players, wait for the right time and wait for the right opportunity if you sign them you are going to get goals galore before we continue with the list i want you guys to do us a massive favor if you could go ahead and smash that like button for us it takes a couple of seconds but the amount that it helps the channel can't be underestimated youtube sees that you've liked it thinks wow this must be a brilliant video and then pushes it out to more people so if you could help us with that that would be awesome make sure you're subscribed as well to the channel we do daily football manager content over here from wonder kids to tactics to videos like this and even tutorials so there's something for everyone. And with that being said, the last thing is comment down below who your favorite strikers have been so far in FM24, because we actually used most of the comments from last video to make this list today. So a lot of these guys were actually suggested by you. So if you've got a favorite, let us know down below, but let's see who our player is in the third spot. And he is one of those that was appearing lots and lots in the comments of our last video. It is of course, Kareem Kanate, one of my favorites of this year. Not all of these players are wonder kids, of course, but Kanate is certainly 
one that fits that bill with great ability but also lots of potential this 19 year old Ivorian striker playing for Salzburg has everything you'd want in his locker 17 acceleration the agility the pace he's not great in the air mind you but he is fairly strong and also he's only 19 like I say so by the time he's 20 or 21 you are going to be looking at a completely different player Salzburg have been producing some great strikers over the last few years Haaland Seshko and now you've got Canate looks like he might be the next one for about 17 million you get a forward who is quick has great mental attributes as well and he actually has the highest finishing of anyone so far at a level of 14 if you give this man a chance he will score goals and before you know it he'll move on for 60 70 80 million pounds I've seen it happen myself and I know this guy is a top talent next though we're going to look at the second most expensive player in this list and one of the more elite caliber strikers that we'll be looking at this is definitely a player if you are a top team in world football looking for a striker it's Victor Jokerez who is someone that I love signing in rebuilds last year in football manager when he was in Coventry and he's now moved to Sporting Club de Portugal out in the Portuguese divisions by the way if you do want to check out my rebuilds I have my own channel linked in the description down below all football manager content from videos about wonder kids you might not have heard of YouTube shorts and we also have some rebuilds as well so if that sounds like something you'd enjoy I'd really appreciate any support over there as we push for that 30k subscriber mark hopefully by the new year but yes Victor Jokerez is someone that really fits that mold of the ideal pressing forward a modern day striker who can work hard for you can score goals with 16 finishing he's good in the air as well 14 first touch 15 dribbling he can beat a man he is strong he has got great jumping reach he's six foot two and he is quick as well there is nothing that this man lacks he's going to cost you about 20 million pounds or so by the looks of it here but of course has just moved to his new club so give him a chance to play there for a little bit and then if you are a big team looking for a striker Jokerez could be the man to go for he's got 18 determination heading into his prime now at the age of 25 an elite level player for an elite level club if you can get your hands on him from one of the most expensive options in this list to one of the cheapest we have Kasper Hogg here whose name I've definitely butchered a pronunciation of he is a 22 year old Danish forward and he is playing for Norwegian size Staubeck the only issue with him is he is joining his new club Bodo Glimt on the 1st of January but they tend to have players with quite low valuations so even once he's moved there I don't think he's going to be worth too much more than this maybe three or four million so he's one to definitely scout and keep an eye on but he is a top talent for a player that is so cheap yes he's never going to start for a Man City or a Real Madrid players like Jokerez might be better options for a team like that but in terms of what you'd want for maybe a lower level Premier League team trying to battle relegation this is the kind of striker that will do you the world of good this came from your guys comments from the suggestions from a previous video with 16 strength 14 extra acceleration 15 pace as well the stamina the jumping reach combined with good heading and finishing ability he has really got the lot and it surprises me that he is ranked so low on these star ratings bear in mind we are Manchester City here I believe or maybe Chelsea we'll find out now here we go we're Man City yes yeah. so he's being compared to some of the best players in the world in particular Erling Haaland in his position but still Kasper Hogg here is a top talent and someone that if you're in a lower down team he's definitely worth scouting to see how he gets on and if you can bring him in for a few million that will be an absolute bargain halfway through the list now moving in to our final five and we have a three or four million pound man playing for Nice in the French divisions where he's been for his whole career he's been loaned out to a few clubs during that career but he is now at Nice as a regular starter supposedly according to the game ready to get some first team football this is Evan Gessand here who is a French 22 year old who is one of those that we mentioned earlier that kind of has that holy trinity of pace strength and aerial ability at six foot one he's got 14s or 15s in every single area other than his agility which is still a very respectable 13 his mental attributes are well-rounded with 14 flair 14 off the ball work and 15 determination with 13 finishing 13 first touch and 13 dribbling as well he has got pretty much everything in his locker if you can get him for three or four million pounds the fee that it looks like you should be able to here you are going to have a star on your hands because I really do think he's got everything he needs to be good in game if you sign him for say a team like Bournemouth or someone like that I feel like he could definitely slot into their 11 no offense to Dom Solanke or at least compete with him in that position because he is one of those strikers that I think could go into the Premier League quite comfortably with that attribute level if we're using the English divisions as a comparison so Evan Gessend here is a great little player that you might not have heard of in your save but our most expensive player in this list and the one you most likely would have heard of is Ivan Tony, who we had to include because of all the comments that we had speaking about this player he's a 27 year old forward of course playing for Brentford in the Premier League valued at about 30 million and from football
football for the first half of the season or so and he's wanted by Newcastle here and you can see why he's got great physical ability in every single area with 16 finishing as well first touch penalty taking of the highest level he's barely ever going to miss a penalty good work rate as well and just overall a very well-rounded forward so much so that he could play that complete forward role up front to a good level which is one of the hardest most specialized roles to play in all of football manager because you have to be a good finisher good in the air and also a good creator of chances with his passing and technique he's definitely got that in his locker too he is the perfect forward for a top level team if you're someone like Chelsea looking for a goal scorer this would be the place the guy would think 30 million seems far too cheap for this player and if you can make that deal happen you have got yourself a gem complete opposite end of the spectrum though we have a much cheaper player here it's 26 year old Ramon Mieres here who's playing for Uzjek out in the Croatian divisions this is a 26 year old Argentinian wanted by Sheffield United a Premier League team which goes to show that he could be that kind of standard of player he's a star player for his side and you can see why because he's got great physical attributes strong fairly quick as well but mainly is going to be that strong presence up front 18 heading and 18 determination make him a very useful forward option he's got lots of bravery as well and whilst he might not be fantastic with his feet when it comes to his dribbling and his finishing it's not terrible either he's definitely more of an aerial threat than some of the other ones we've looked at even though he is only six foot but if he can get away from his defender with that 16 off the ball work and get a headed chance he's going to poach loads of goals for you and that's not even mentioning the fact that he has got 20 work rate which you never normally see which means he is going to absolutely run his socks off for you and your team. And we finish off with two of my favourites in this whole list. Firstly, we've got Lorenzo Luca, who is a cheap forward who's been around football manager for the last few years. This year, he's on loan at Udinese from Pisa. Last year, he was at Ajax. And the year before that, you could just outright get him from Pisa in football manager. This man is an absolute beast still. He might not be as good as he was a few years ago, but a six foot seven forward is 22 years of age with potential to get better, 17 drum in reach and 16 head in. So okay, you know he's a very big presence in the air, but he's also not too slow either. He's got nice stamina as well. The mental attributes are very well rounded. He can pass, he can hit a penalty, good long shots, good first touch and finishing ability as well. Target forward is his most recommended role here, but I really do think he could play any role in that forward line. He's maybe not going to beat anyone with pace, but outside of that, he will dominate a defense. He likes to shoot with power and play with his back to goal, which might suggest that target forward or deep line forward, maybe even complete forward, Forward would be a good role for him. Either way though, three or four million once his loan is done at Udinese, send that to Pisa and you will have a great Italian striker on your hands. And finally, we have the man who is recommended by so many people. I've seen a few different videos talking about him as well. Clates FM on YouTube, he did a video about his 10 favorite strikers. And if I remember right, when I watched it, Samu Omodion here came in at number one and his name is definitely not pronounced like that. Let me try that again. Samu Omoro Dion. I don't know. Either way, he's playing for Atletico de Madrid, but he is currently on loan at Alaves. He's a six foot four forward with great pace, strength, and jumping reach. His physical attributes are as dominant as they could be, really. He's got great rounded mental attributes as well with 14 finishing. He is going to cost you a fair bit, but he's got a release clause here of 13 million. In another save I had, it was 7 million. So scout him, see how he gets on. There's a good chance Atletico won't give him the chance once his loan is done at Alaves, which means you can then poach him and sign him for your team there is no optional future fee on that contract with Alaves so he's always going to go back to Atletico after that first season at which point scout him and try and get your hands on him because once he gets that go in the Atletico team they're not going to look anywhere else because they will have a gem of a striker he's someone that you guys should definitely check out one of my favorites in this whole list but there you go that is 10 of some of the most meta strikers in FM24 don't forget to comment down below your favorites smash the like button and subscribe for us and I'll see you next time thank you and goodbye